Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Straub, Executive Chef for the Pittsburgh Penguins and Parkhurst Dining. We're here at the UPMC Lemieux Sports Complex Players Lounge. Today we're going to make some meals that are fit for athletes and families thanks to our friends at Giant Eagle. Today we're going to be making a seared strip steak topped with romesco sauce. Let's get going. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start making our romesco sauce. So we have all of our ingredients here that we got at Giant Eagle Market District this morning. I picked them up on my way in. We're gonna start off by taking two tomatoes, which I already took the cores out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into eighths. I took the core out, I'm just gonna cut the tomatoes into basically large chunks. However you see fit, there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm gonna add them into our mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to take a red bell pepper, and we want to take the stem and the seeds out. The easy, easiest way I see to do this is to cut the top and the bottom off the pepper, cut down the side, kind of open it up with your knife, and then slide your knife along the white ribs, and boom, just like that, your seeds are removed. We're just going to go ahead and give this a rough chop as well. Roughly the same size as the tomatoes, doesn't have to be perfect. Now, to our mixing bowl, we're also going to add five cloves of garlic. We're going to season it with salt, some black pepper, and we're going to hit it with a little bit of avocado oil. Now, you don't have to use avocado oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you prefer. We use avocado oil because it has a high smoking point, great for cooking, and also it's healthy. So now that everything is all tossed together, I have a sheet tray or a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. We're just going to dump everything out onto it. We're going to add one more ingredient. That is a piece of bread. We are going to use gluten-free bread. We try to keep everything gluten-free around here. And we're going to put this in the oven to toast. I preheated my oven at 425 degrees. I'm also going to take a half a cup of sliced almonds. You can use whole if you'd like. We're just going to put them in a little saute pan. I'm also going to put those in the oven to toast as well. Now keep in mind, if you're going to make the sauce at home, your almonds are going to toast a lot quicker than the vegetables. Almonds will probably take about five minutes. The other ingredients will take somewhere around 10 to 12 minutes. This morning I picked up a beautiful center cut strip steak from Market District. This thing is thick, serious, and in charge. Because we want to really showcase the flavor of the Romesco sauce, we're going to try to keep the seasoning on the steak as simple as possible to let the flavor of the sauce completely control the dish. So all I'm going to do with my steak is going to season it, salt, and pepper. And as you can tell, I'm being very liberal with the amount of seasoning that I'm putting on the steak. I'm going to go ahead and take our cast iron skillet, which I have warming up on high heat. I'm going to add, again, avocado oil. You don't have to use avocado oil. It's what we use for the penguins here at the practice facility because it does have a high smoking point, which is great for sauteing, cooking, roasting. We got some little smoke coming off our cast iron means we're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take our steak. We're going to put it in. Oh, I love to hear that sound. Now we're on a high heat. I'm going to turn this down to a medium high. I don't want it to burn. I just want to get a nice sear on the outside. And we're going to go ahead and finish this in the oven after our ingredients come out. So it's been five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and remove our almonds from the oven. So as I look into our cast iron pan, I can see there's a brown edge starting to form on the outside of the steak where it's touching the pan. That means that we're just about there from a searing standpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the steak over. See, we have some nice brown caramelization on that steak. 
All right, so now that we're seared on both sides, I'm gonna go ahead, leave it in the cast iron pan. I'm gonna finish it in the oven. Now that it's been about 12 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out our ingredients for the romesco sauce and let them cool. All right, so now that our tomatoes, peppers, garlic, and bread and almonds have all cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and add them into our food processor. So I'm just gonna take our piece of bread, just gonna break it up into a couple chunks. And go ahead and take our vegetables, place those in there as well. Go ahead and add in our toasted almonds. We'll put the lid on our food processor and we're just gonna puree this a little bit. Now, if you don't have a food processor at home, if you have any kind of blender, that will work just as well. If you don't have a blender, you could probably even use a knife and just get a real fine chop on it. It's all right, it's a very rustic sauce that you can customize to be your own. All right, so now that it's pureed for just about 30 seconds or so, I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off, scrape down our sides with a rubber spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a half a cup of sherry vinegar, and a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put our lid on. Just gonna pulse it around again a little bit. All right, now that we're all fully incorporated, again, take the lid off, grab a bowl, As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the consistency is not too thick, not too thin, and it smells amazing. You got roasted nuts, tomato, pepper, garlic, the vinegar, the oil. It's gonna be awesome. All right, now that our steak has had a chance to rest, we're gonna go ahead and slice it down and plate it. So I'm just gonna cut on a nice angle here, or bias, into a couple of pieces. As you can see, because we let it rest, nothing is running out of the steak. There's no juices running. That means that all that flavor is inside the steak. Now we're just gonna top it. The romesco sauce. Put a nice stripe right down the middle. I like a lot of sauce, so I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. And there we have it. Pan seared strip steak with Romesco sauce. And remember, you can pick up all these ingredients at your local Giant Eagle or Market District.